The Chronicles of Evil News continues. Tonight, she will completely blast with her anger. But something awaits her first. Something unexpected. As usual, the nurse is preparing for her work. She's a little bit sad because of the incident last week. When the director of the hospital refused to promote her so, she had to do what needed to be done and what's usually done if someone refuses her. In any case, it's a new day, new possibilities and she's determined to have a great day today As always, she prefers to look perfect, so she makes sure everything is in place. She grabs her coat. It looks great, as usual. And... A little smile won't hurt. Of course, she's putting on a pair of heels. And yes, the heels have rubber toes already, as she unfortunately doesn't have any money to buy new shoes. But she's responsible, so she goes again. To work. Surprisingly, at the hall, everyone was staring at her. It seemed really odd to nurse. She started to be worried. She didn't understand at first, but what if? No. What if it's about the incident with the director? 
she killed him last week and she's hidden his body what if someone knows what if someone saw her she sees a couple of detectives Hello, detective. That's correct. I'm an Ascati. However, I don't think it's necessary. Oh yes, she's asked for a private conversation. Sure. I will take off my coat, if you don't mind. What is it you wanted to talk about? And as she thought, hmm. I don't quite understand. Of course, she understood. What are you implying? Well, she knows. I'm a qualified nurse and I would never let that happen. Well... I have a really good relationship with other nurses and with all the doctors in this hospital. I'm very respectable and no, I didn't have any conflicts with anyone here. Which is not quite true. You know. Someone told the detective that she wanted a promotion but the director refused her. Detective, I am not going to lie. I was indeed really disappointed by his decision not to promote me. And I disagree with it. I think I am qualified enough and I spend enough time in this hospital to deserve a promotion maybe that's why i i confirm i said that i confront i confronted him i was a little bit angry of course but i just told him that i don't agree with him and that's it Nothing more. And I just left. What he was doing afterwards, I do not know. I've checked on my patients and I left home. No, I didn't think, I didn't see, I didn't see anything strange. Anything unusual? No. As I told you, we just basically had an unpleasant conversation and I left. If I disagree with him, it doesn't mean that I did anything bad. Hmm. 
Do you have any proof? And now she's been told. Oh, what, what about her? What did she say? Yes, well, I might have forgotten. I have some disagreements with her as well. She made comments a couple of times that I put on a lipstick at work and that I wear heels. She seemed really off about it. She claimed as well that some doctors Yes, you know She said that some doctors are making a move on me and that I support that this, this is not true and I confronted her as well and I told her that it is nonsense Well, it doesn't exclude that it was true. Besides, I'm not going to take any advice from a person who doesn't have any taste in fashion. Of course, I'm talking about her. I refuse to do that. She's no authority to me. And I told her everything right looking into her, into her eyes, just saying things as I told to you. I have nothing to hide. You see, detective, I told you everything I know, and I did nothing bad. She's very good at lying. But unfortunately, she needs to go to the station for a questioning. Oh, right. Of course. Of course, I can come with you to the station. This will prove that I have nothing to hide. In fact, I have nothing to be scared of, or to, I cannot be caught as I didn't do anything bad. I understand. Oh, one more thing. Can I take a bottle of water? Yes, it's right behind you. Of course, she didn't want any water. She couldn't allow it to happen. She couldn't go to the station. So she did what had to be done. She needs to cover up the detective's mouth and tie him up and put him into the drawer. She knows what she's doing, but she needs to act quickly. After, she needs to come up with some plan. She cannot be caught.
dentist is very heavy. So she's struggling dragging him. But finally she succeeds. She went back into director's office. She went back to check up some reports of the new patients who came to the hospital. She wanted to pay them a visit. Because she needed to take out her anger on someone. After some checkups, she became completely mad. She had one patient left. So, she gonna pay her a visit before she left. She's surprisingly good at hiding. So, during a half day, no one found her in the hospital. Meanwhile, she was operating several patients already. And her last one at this hospital. She wonders, what can she do? Good morning. How do you feel? Yes. Do not worry. You came to the right place. Yes, indeed. I'm a gynecologist as well. Never mind, I'm a gynecologist. Shall we proceed? We will have a look and we'll see if everything is all right or should we make any operations. Even if we do, shall not worry. Everything is going to be fine. Could I? All right. Do not worry. It's gonna hurt a bit, but not too much. Just relax. Oh, 
Wow. This is going to take a while. I need to check it one more time. This thing. I'm afraid there is something. Just let me check another time. Relax. Mm. That looks very bad. I'm afraid we need to take an operation straight away. Unfortunately, I don't have time to explain you this, but we need to do it right away. Nurse. I'm going to induce you a sleeping pill. Anastasia. All right, so would you fall, so you would fall asleep and we proceed with the operation straight away. No time to lose. I'll explain you once you wake. Do not worry, everything's going to be fine. Just count from 10 to 1.
spoke of already. Yes, the operation went very well. My mask. Oh no. I think you might have some hallucinations from Anastasia. That's correct. You just relax for now. I will come to check up on you tomorrow. Very well. <laughs>